Hello everybody and welcome to uh, week 4 of the Dun um, Dragonites and Dunspa Dunspices and Dragonites, sorry. Um, league, uh, this week I'm versing my good friend Ian of the Ladna Lanterns. Um, yeah, uh, Ian's got a nice team. He's got... Um, he's bought the, the Ferrothorn, the Zapdos, the Primate, Togekiss, the... Mega Metacham and the Cryogonal. All threatening to my team for sure. Uh, team on the left is the team I'm bringing. Uh, I am not taking the Thick Fat, even though I should. It's oblivious. Uh, that's uh, my mistake and my bad, but that's uh, the team that I took, so that's the team I got to play with. Not uh, like terrible in the whole scheme of things. Um, but it, it's kind of annoying, and I should, should be paying more attention when I'm uh, um, prepping these teams. So it's not something that should happen. But what you're going to do, at least uh, I'll be able to get my Stealth Rocks up, I guess. If he brings anything with Taunt. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, Ian's a good friend of mine. He also does um, his own YouTube videos of his battles. He's in even more leagues than I am, so if you want to check out someone who I feel like is a pretty decent battler and is really informative um, in his team building and um, battle process, like his, his thoughts when he's battling as well, is um, uh, I, I feel like you should check him out uh, for sure. Uh, just YouTube link for him will be in the description. So yeah, uh, head across there and uh, give him some love as well. Anyway, uh, I'm bringing the Salastilla, Dodrio, Espeon, um, Hitmonlee, Golbat, and um, Mamoswine. So uh, my team is on the left here, uh, as per usual, with the team builder that will be in the description as well. If you want to get more insight into what I'm bringing and why, then that is the place to find out. Otherwise, just watch the video and we'll see how the battle goes. Um, but yeah, my lead here is the Celestilla. Uh, actually, no, it's not, sorry. It was the Hitmonlee. Um, I expected him to want to lead something to get hazards up, or that's going to threaten me from getting hazards up. Um, so I was expecting either, I guess, the Ferrothorn, the Cryogonal, which he brought in, or possibly the Zapdos as well. Um, this Hitmonlee possibly wouldn't have been the best against the Zapdos, but it still would have um, threatened it at least a little. Um, now, I'm not expecting... The Cryogonal to stay in here, I believe I just went for a knockoff. I did. I just went for a knockoff. And, like, uh, at this point, he's got to know that I'm banded, um, so that I'm going to have to switch out here. Which I do into my Celesteela, as he's just going to knock off himself. And uh, there goes my leftovers, unfortunately, but that's all right. I'm just going to block this thing in as he's going to Thunder Wave and paralyze me. But that's not too big of a deal. I didn't want this thing to be a speedy threat in the first place. Uh, just a bit of bulk and whatever. Uh, I'm going to get paralyzed there, which is unfortunate. Uh, and then I'm going to make a total misplay here and go for the Leech Seed. Um, I don't know why I did that. I knew he couldn't switch out. <laughs> like, uh, I knew I couldn't Toxic. Uh, there's no point clicking block again because he's already trapped. I should have just gone for air slash. Um, yeah, but I just wasn't thinking. Um, so I clicked the leech, said uh, pretty big misplay, pretty big misclick. Uh, it gonna let him do 18% there with a critical hit, uh, which is unfortunate, but uh, not a huge deal. He's gonna get a few knockoffs while I air slash him. I'm gonna get paralyzed. Get a, another air slash, and one more air slash is going to take this thing out, which is like pretty good. Uh, he gets another crit, so um, 
getting those crits there is kind of annoying, to be honest, because that means that um, for sure Zapdos is going to be able to come in and knock this thing out next. Um, and it also means that things like the uh, Primate and the Mega Metacham and possibly even the Cryogonal would be able to come in and knock this out with something too. Um, so those crits are kind of annoying, but that's all right. He brings in the Meta Mega Metacham here, and he's just going to be able to take me out with a Drain Punch, which I potentially could have lived if I hadn't been crit twice and paralyzed uh, and taken all those extra hits. Um, but it does allow me to bring my Espeon in, which is faster than this thing, and he's got to know that. Um, and I think at this point, uh, Psychic or Shadow Ball knocked this guy out even from 100%, uh, so he's got to back out, I go for the Psychic, okay, it does a solid 31%, and that uh, tells me that this is fairly bulky uh, on the Spidef side, um, but I can protect to see what he wants to do, uh, probably not the best idea to um, give him that information at this point, in case I wanted to try and bait out a high jump kick from the Mega Meta Cham in the future. But that's alright. I just wanted to see what he'd do. And he's stuck in now. I go to Golbat, take the rocks, uh, and the discharge does 40%. So, unfortunately, because of the rocks, I can't live two discharges, uh, which is going to stop me from roosting. It's going to stop me from defogging these rocks away. Which is really annoying, actually. And it means that I haven't been able to get the um, the Toxic on it or anything like that from my um, Celesteela. So this thing isn't getting worn down either, and it's going to have Roost as well. Which is unfortunate for me at this point, but um, <sighs> right now he's got to discharge uh, again to prevent me from defogging, to prevent me from roosting. Uh, and that's just what he's going to do. It's going to allow me a free switch into my Mamo Swine, uh, which will allow me to get my rocks up at this point. Because at this point, he doesn't know that I'm not thick fat either. So even if it has Heat Wave, he's not going to stick around and try and take that. Uh, and then I switch into my God Batman. Uh, just, I sack it off at this point. No, there's nothing else that I wanted to switch into this. Um, this primate, um, and then I bring in my Hitmonlee because a high jump kick is going to take this thing out. Ice Punch still does a chunk of damage, which is unfortunate, but uh, at this point I didn't know it was Scarfed. Um, but like, after I outsped my Hitmonlee there, I did for sure. But yeah, it goes down to my high jump kick, oh, but then I've got nothing for this... Uh, this uh, Mega Metacham. Um, but this is where I show that I've got Endeavor. Bring that um, down to 25%, 31 after leftovers. But I do get the Static Paralysis, which is unfortunate, um, because after that, I go for a Quick Attack, get paralyzed, and he roosts up. Quick Attack almost certainly would not have killed there. Um, but it would have left him at lower than 81%. Uh, to be honest, I should have just quick attacked again, but uh, I tried to get another Endeavor off. Uh, but uh, he's just going to discharge and knock me out. Unfortunate that my uh, Dodrio didn't get to agility baton pass there and didn't even really get an effective Endeavor off because its Zapdos is already at 94% again, almost full, from down to 25%. Annoying, but... That's how it goes. And uh, I bring my Mamos one in here. And uh, this Kragonal takes the Toxic. Uh, it would have been nice if I could have got that on the Zapdos or even the Togekiss or even the Mega Metagen. Um, but I'm just going to Ice Shard now because it's the only thing that can actually even hit. And then that's where I realize I'm not fit fat. That does a lot of damage. Um, I didn't notice <laughs> before this point. But... I mean, it does mean that I'm going to be able to take this Krogon out uh, with the toxic damage and that hit, it would have gone down. 
uh, and that means that but it would have been able to take me down it without that critical hit. So yeah, that critical hit did matter. It was kind of um, unfortunate for Ian there, but um, what can you do? Crits happen. And then here I'm just going to get faked out and goes down like so. In other words, the crit didn't really matter that much. Um, like... Either my Mamos one would have gone down to the Cryogonal or it would have gone down to the Mega Meta Jam, and I'm sure Ian is happy that it went to the Mega Meta Jam in the first place. Uh, here, I just go for the Psychic again as the Meta Jam switches out. 34%, uh, another one of them could kill, but not after the leftovers. Um, and then Hidden Power Ice is not quite enough. I can't, I'm not sure if that was a roll or not. I don't. I don't think so. I think. I think it. Like. I don't think it would have killed no matter what at that point. Um, is just gonna roost up. At this point, uh, two more hidden power ices would have killed. I went for the shadow ball here to, hopefully get the special defense drop, uh, which would have uh, definitely put him in range of the next hidden power, I believe. Um, it was a chance I was willing to take because there's not much else I could do at this point anyway. But uh, potentially a Hidden Power Ice into a Hidden Power Ice there would have been the smarter play. Um, because like even after leftovers, there's not much I can do. Uh, like I don't I don't even know if after leftovers two would have been enough to kill to be honest. Um, so maybe the Shadow Ball Special Defense drop was my best play, has more chance to get the drop than the Psychic does. Um, but then again, the Psychic would have done more damage, so it's tough to know. Uh, but then I'm going to bring my um, Hitmon Lee in and just go for the Poison Jab. Uh, that would have okayed the um, Togekiss if that came in. Uh, it killed the Zapdos there, and I even think it did take out the um, Meta Champ at that point. But then the Meta Champ is just going to be able to come in and uh, fake out, uh, which did like 50% damage to me, I think. So like, I had to be over half health to be able to live that in the first place. And then after the game, me and Ian did a bit of talking, and like, I mean, Togekiss was scarfed, so it was going to outrun me and air slash me. Um, anyway, which would have killed me. So at that point, I had no way of winning, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I I feel like it was still a fairly close game. There was definitely some things that I misplayed. Uh, Oblivious Mamo Swine was not meant to be uh, the thing either. Um, potentially the Shadow Ball should have been a Hidden Power Ice and that um, potentially could have dealt with the Zapdos. Um, bringing the Golbat in on the Zapdos, maybe not the best idea with the rocks up. I thought I had enough special defense investment to be able to take enough to be able to get me to roost up and then defog the rocks away, but it did not work in my favor, unfortunately. Um, but biggest misplay is probably that Leech Seed on the uh, Ferrothorn at start. Because um, if I didn't try and do that, Ferrothorn would have been a lot closer to death, and uh, I wouldn't have taken so many knockoffs. Uh, it's unfortunate that he got the crit knockoffs and the paras on me, but I mean, that's just. Uh, I mean, Ian's MO, isn't it? Just uh, uh, thunder waving, um, powering things. But that's just how it goes. Um, and potentially, if I got that quick attack off with Dodrio as well, uh, Zapdos might have been low enough that. Um, the Hidden Power Ice from Espeon would have killed in the first place, which could have been pretty neat, but that's just how the game goes, I guess. Um, not much you can do about that. Uh, it was a great game. Uh, I, I always enjoy playing Ian. Uh, it does put me at one win to two losses against him at the moment, though, so uh, next time we play, I'm going to have to try harder to bring it back. So uh, Anyway, check him out uh, if you like. He's a great battler. Uh, great friend and uh, really informative so his videos are always interesting um but yeah uh, check him out and, and uh, i don't know uh, just 
like and subscribe to me if you haven't already. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, because I play a lot of these draft league matches. So if this is your thing, then um, yeah, just keep watching and I'll see you for future battles. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.